Greetings and welcome to Quick Tips with Quinlan. My name is Angela Quinlan and I am a demonstration teacher and a onboarding coach for the San Bernardino School District. I'm also a CTE teacher and a um, biomed lead for the Biomed Academy at Pacific High School. And today I would like to share with you a quick tip on how to set up a rubric scoring um, in the Google Classroom. And so today, um, in order to do that or to start that process, we'd have to create a, an assignment. And so you're going to go to Classwork right here. And you're going to go to Create Assignment. And you'll scroll down and you can create an assignment one of several ways. Um, in this case, we're going to create an assignment and title it. In this case, I'm going to title it Scientific Solutions for Today. You would fill out all of the other additional information, whatever your instructions would be, add any resources, um, due dates, topic. And then in the lower right hand corner, you'll notice that um, it states rubric. And so when you click on rubric, you can do one of three um, items. You can create a rubric from scratch. You can reuse a rubric. Uh, when you're reusing a rubric, you can, it will actually pull from either another class or from another assignment that you've had, or you can import from sheets. We're gonna create a rubric. When we create a rubric, um, it will click up a file just like this that will ask you for the criterion title. You enter the criterion title for me. I just list um, the title of the assignment that I had. So The criterion description would um, describe what the expectations were for that assignment, what that assignment was about. If you were just doing a zero to a four point scale, then you are going to go across by entering in um, these little plus signs and it will allow you to add as many point ratios as you need. Um, and so I'm going to do a zero to four point scale. Three, two, one, and zero. And I always add in a zero um, because if I have a student that doesn't do any work or I have a student who completely um, misunderstood the lesson, then I, I want to account for that as well. And so um, you would enter in the level titles. You can choose those titles, what the description is, what the was the expectation for that assignment, um, how it is being graded or assessed, so on and so forth. If you have multiple assignments or you have multiple criteria, then in um, not only will you go across, but you would go down and you would add in additional criteria. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all created. And so the entire assignment will look just like this with my titles entered, my descriptors in, and um, the assignment dates. Uh, in this particular case, I have two different assignments listed and it will add up the score right here. And when I go to my class, it will show here for the students so that they are able to see it as well. And that's how you create a rubric in the Google Classroom. Thank you for listening.